As in, coincidentally, I'm still waiting on the gift cards you guys, I know, got me for <laughs> oh. the Christmas holidays. So, <laughs> so once coming. I get those, mail. I'm going to be hitting the street. Yeah, yeah, I'll be checking my mailbox. But no, for people that did get cash or gift cards, uh, some of the sales that retailers have for this post-Christmas uh, week, those are really working out. But another thing that the actual store owners are worried about, though, is returns. Because a lot of people, they come in for exchanges or for returns. So right now, the balance that people are trying to find is really making sure that customers, they leave with more than they came in with. Twas the day after Christmas, and all through the town, shoppers were ready, making their rounds. I, I thought, thought I'd take some things back, start early. Um, luckily, crowds aren't out yet, so I got in there, was able to take it back, but I have a lot, a lot of taking back, and then, of course, I'm shopping for myself, too. Debbie Eisler hit Walnut Street to make her returns and exchanges, but with holiday sales extending past Christmas, She's not opposed to leaving with new gifts for herself, and she's not the only one looking around. We actually came out for a little bit of holiday shopping. We all have gift cards that we want to spend, so we're kind of just walking Rittenhouse Square, seeing what we can find. So According to the National Retail Federation, Americans spent around $30 billion in gift cards this season. So the holiday spending continues. Good news for boutique owners like Christina from August Moon. December is a huge portion of our, of our year. Um, so we definitely kind of rely on that last month before the end of the year to to bring everything home, kind of. But she also has to try to combat returns. According to the National Retail Federation, $148 billion worth of holiday merchandising is expected to be returned this year. A potential blow to the bottom line, which is why Christina tells me she looks to meet customers halfway, preferring the exchange route. Our store, we offer store credit um, to, to kind of balance that out because as a small business, that's kind of the best route for us. Um, but we keep things fresh. So it's important that as you're going out, if you uh, are shopping, that you're checking with the stores for their return or exchange policy. And then, of course, if you're making any returns or exchanges over the next few days, you want to make sure you have that original receipt. I'll send it back to you guys. I'm Miguel Martinez Valle, NBC 10 News. All right, some good.